This is our adventure. So I've arrived in Hanoi, all good, after 16 hour flight, even more. I then joined my good friend Clément from university in the old quarter of Hanoi. Vietnam is a country in Southeast Asia and its capital is Hanoi, located in the north. And that's where we are right now. With a population of almost 8 million, it is the second most populated city in Vietnam after Saigon. We're waiting for our bus in two hours to go in the direction of Sapa to see the rice fields. I then decided to visit Nyok Son Temple, a beautiful sanctuary on Lake Hoan Kim. After passing the dragon board, a noble creature from Chinese mythology, but also the white tiger board, I came to the Hug Bridge, a bridge that collapsed over time and was rebuilt during the French colonial period. Noxon Temple means the Temple of the Jade Mountain and it was built in the 19th century to worship Wen Chang Ting, the god in charge of the fame and fortune of scholars. Behind the temple I saw a pond of beautiful koi, a creature that symbolizes resilience and persistence in studies to succeed in the exams. So they just transferred us to another bus. Like now we're like lying down. But this is like this is like for Vietnamese people, it's not for our size. So it's kind of tight. And here we are, about to travel 300 kilometers on our way to Sapa. So this is bus number six. So guys we've arrived in Sapa. They really love their lights and neons in this city, it's insane. Guys, this place looks like a fun fair. These spotlights as well. Look at this. Oh, there's even a church here. Nice. In Sapa, we stayed at the Megaview homestay. We paid around 80,000 dongs, which is 3 euros, for an 8 bed dorm for one person. We prepared ourselves, sprayed up with mosquito repellent, and after Clément helped me with my water bottle, we were finally off for our first hike in the valley of Muang Hoa. That's a solid piece of bamboo. We just found an abandoned building here. Bath time for the ducks today, having a lot of fun, just like us. Looks impressive. So we're still walking around, exploring. We haven't taken a guide or anything. We're just like walking on our own means, because like paying for a guide, I don't think there's much sense here considering the fact that they don't really speak much English. There's a lot of ladies who are gonna <clears throat> come up to you who are gonna say like, 
do you want a guide, a hike? And you're gonna end up paying like $20 a day for a hike that you could do by yourself. Cause like the paths are here. The paths are beautiful in this valley. And you see a lot of tourists, a lot of groups of people walking on them. And you can just like literally follow them if you want. Just have to make sure you're not going on private property or anything sometimes. We encountered a dog before, who chased us a bit. Here we are at Cat Cat Tourism Area. A few huts. Wow, this place looks incredible. These look pretty good, but these are just for decoration. They don't use them at all. You can see on these things, it's not attached to anything. So yeah, they just turn in for the sake of turning, just for us tourists, that's all. These are the traditional dresses of the Hmong people which are used for celebrations. This ethnic minority originates from the mountainous regions in the south of China and had a population of 1.4 million in 2019 in Vietnam, living in the highlands of northwest and central Vietnam. Comment ça va les gars Vous êtes chaud pour ce soir là Ouais. T'es chaud Ariane Ouais de ouf. Ouais de ouf. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, man! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Trick shot. Watch this camera. Yeah. Oh! That seems like a fail. What do you think? Just like. Guys, it's a new day. Woke up quite late. We were a bit drunk yesterday. Had a good game of pool. And now in the with the train. We then visited our first selfie park. Wow! Look at this place, guys. It's amazing. Look at the flowers. And we're going to take a cable car now up to Fancy Pan, which is the highest point in Vietnam, 2,142 meters, I think. That's right? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. So it cost us 960 dongs, Vietnamese dongs, to go up, which is about 35 US dollars. 800,000 dongs to take the cable car and 160,000 to take the, the train up here. After cruising through the clouds with a few scary stops on the way, we stepped off the cable car. And what we saw, we couldn't believe. Hello, my name is Ariane. Um, 
Do you know why there is a step uh, to enter the temple? Uh, first, it's, uh, it's to prevent spirits, like bad spirits, to come inside the temple. And the uh, second one, it's because when you enter, you have to bow like this, and it's a sign of uh, respect for the ancestor. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Ariane. <laughs> The Great Amitabha Buddha Statue on Mount Fanzipan is the highest seated bronze statue in Asia. It sits at 3100 meters above sea level on the lotus pedestal and its interior space contains relics that embody the spiritual qualities, compassion and wisdom of the Buddha. Buddhism activities regularly take place in the sacred area. However, it is worth knowing that three quarters of the Vietnamese population doesn't have any religion. Instead, they venerate their ancestors. The remaining quarter is mainly Buddhist and Catholic. After climbing many steps, we finally reached the highest point in Vietnam. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? So, check this out. Baguette, jambong, bashkiri. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Million subscribers, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I subscribe? Yeah, go, go for it. We have a fan right here. <laughs> Hello, subscribers. So, this is a tutorial to make a French sandwich. Oh! So, French baguette, oh. baguette française, bashkiri. Can I take Crack? a photo? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Jambon, square ham. Wow. Yeah, it's, that's gonna be delicious. That's, that's my banh mi. <laughs> that's my banh mi. <laughs> that's French banh mi. That's, that's... Oh my god. It looks so delicious, just like in France. Check this out. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> so guys, I've just arrived on the top of Vietnam. I'm really tired, really thirsty. So to survive, I found this water in a stream down there, in a the river, really dirty water. And I'm gonna use this live straw. So I just screw it on. The last um, cable car trip is at half five, and the, the sun actually sets at half five, so we might get an amazing view from the cable car. I'm gonna film that, it's gonna look splendid, magical, spectacular place here at the top of Vietnam. So guys, we're off, going to Muong Kim, taking the bus from Sapa here. Yeah. The only thing we didn't know back then was that we would never arrive to Muong Kim. See you in the next episode. <laughs>